So we're on the USS Howard, DDG-83. She's one of the older destroyers, commissioned around 2002, yet over the last few years, we've had some of the most major upgrades. And now uh, USS Howard is the most capable destroyer in the US fleet with our upgrades that we have received to anti-submarine uh, anti warfare, anti-air warfare, and uh, ballistic missile defense. So anti-submarine warfare is our ability to track, classify, and thought localize uh, submarines. Uh, we can, you know, detect them with sonar via active sonar or passive sonar. Active sonar where we're actively putting sound into the water. Passive sonar where we're just listening for different noises. All station sonar, sonar has new frequency of interest down there at 188. Looks like a routine track of a fishing vessel. Some of the equipment we have on board the USS Howard is the surface vessel torpedo tubes located in port and starboard side midships. Uh, they hold three Mark 46 or Mark 54 torpedoes respectively. They're used to engage our subsurface threats. Another piece of equipment we have on board is the expendable bathythermograph. It's used to measure temperature versus depth in our operating area to effectively employ our sensors. Which brings me to our two most important pieces of equipment, the hull array and the tow array. The hull array is located on the front of the ship. We can employ it passively, which means we are only receiving acoustic data underwater, or actively, which means we are sending out active transmissions and awaiting our turn. And our tow array, which is streamed thousands of yards behind the ship, is used to receive all acoustic signatures underwater. And to tie it all together are our consoles that receive all the data from our sensors that our sonar technicians use to paint the underwater picture. So part of what makes uh, our job special is our ability to train in all areas of the world. The Hawaiian op area, an area which we train at all the time, has very unique acoustic uh, environments that allow us to practice our art. And anti-submarine warfare is an art. And our ability to execute these missions of training or real world tasking or whatever it is just allows us to uh, refine our art and allow us to become the most capable destroyer in the U.S. Navy.